Hi guys, it's Jilly Hunt here with my A to Z guide to stamping up products. And I'm up to the letter Q for quality and quick, because that's what you get with the Stamparatus. Or are we going to call it Stamparatus? Or perhaps its better nickname, which is the Stamposaurus. Um, but anyway, whatever we're going to call it, it's the Stamparatus Stamparatus and we're going to show you how to use it and I'm going to apologise that I totally and utterly forgot that when we were at P I should have said that we were going to start on a Monday. I'm sorry about that. Um, there was a good reason why I didn't want to do one on um, Sunday because it was Father's Day and so I'd planned to start on the Monday but I totally forgot to tell you so my apologies if you were searching around for me yesterday. I'm starting today but as a compensation for that I'm going to tell you that the Stamparatus is such an amazing piece of kit that instead of doing one session on it I'm going to introduce it today and then I'm going to show you what it can do over the next 10 sessions. And those sessions are going to come every other day. So for the next every other day, for 10 sessions, you're going to get a little sprinkle of magic of what the Stamparatus can do. Um, so starting today, which is Monday, is the introduction. Then we're going to look at, let's give you a quick drill through what we're going to do. We're going to look at all the special needs help that it can give you. Accurate positioning of your stamps, help with your dexterity and so on. We're going to then look at quality for beginners, all the things that as a beginner you struggle with. I've been there, I know, um, and this is going to show you how the Stamparatus can help you. Um, also multiple images perfectly so we're going to look at fast mass production we're going to look at two three four step stampings and hinge techniques we're going to look at perfecting your designs by looking at how we can make circles and wreaths and mixed backgrounds and accurate grid positioning we're going to look at working with color ombreing, watercolouring, effects with markers. We're going to double your stamps by looking at mirror imaging, reflections, getting soft reflections and hard reflections, second hand stamping to give shadows. We're going to look at perfect placement. We're going to think through spirals and curves and text messages that flow across your design. Masking made easy and shaker cards. Then we're going to get quite messy and arty, my favourite to be honest, it's a bit of wet and squish. Um, we're going to look at highlighting with colour, smushing and marbling, layering for density and subtlety. So these are quite high arty type ways of using your stamparatus. Stamparatus, I still can't work out what to say. Um, and then we're going to look at using it with tools, which are actually two of the most fundamentally brilliant ways of using this. Um, one is to ensure that your die cutting and stamping completely lines up and is combined and also how you can use it with multiple builder punches. The sort where we look at them and go, oh, how am I going to get these lined up with the images? So these are just some of more than a dozen reasons why you need a Stamparatus. And I'm going to start today just giving you a very brief um, introduction and then Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the next two weeks we're going to go through those so keep coming back and find me and I'm also going to tell you that all of this information about the Stamparatus is on page 164 of your catalogue. So if you're a UK citizen and you want a catalogue, you're not a demonstrator, then I would love to send you one. So go to www.jillyhunt.com and give me a shout out and say you would like one, please. Um, my email address is there and you can find me and send me a message. Here is all that you need to know about the equipment you can buy. There's the plain Stamparatus itself, which is what I'm going to show you today. There's a wonderful carrying case. 
There are spare magnets, spare mats and grid paper. So everything you need to know to make use of this wonderful tool is on that page. And if you buy one, of, if you're thinking of buying one of these, I'm going to tell you that there is an amazing deal where I can give you um, £31 worth of extra equipment for nothing, for free. £31, I know. I can also make it that you can have 20% off your future purchases for a minimum of four months. So come back right at the very end of this video when I'm going to tell you how um, you can make the most of that offer. So here we go. Here is the Stamparatus itself. It's a stamp platform um, and in fact what it is, it is a foam mat and on top here, so let's just take that out of the way, um, here is the grid and this is basically just a thin plastic grid with a magnet embedded into it. Here are the hinge entry points and you get two plates okay to use with this that fit into those hinges so let me just show you this one let's move it to that end so I can show you you place them in they've got little nodules that go it's very obvious it's not a complicated thing they just slip in click like that but you place them in vertically you don't try and click them in sideways like that you you might do them damage it's a very sturdy piece of kit um, but you certainly want to do them vertically. So they click in vertically like that. And then you have what is really a hinge, like a book. This becomes a book hinge. Okay. And the same can be done at the other side. So you can click this one in at the top here. And this will become a book, but going in the opposite direction. And actually that goes off the film camera here. I can't quite get it all under one piece of kit. So that's going backwards and forwards in that direction and this in this direction. Now do be a little bit careful because that's not designed for them to be closed. And actually you'll see, look, that when I go to close it, it doesn't close. And I don't want to push that too hard um, because it will actually damage the hinge potentially it's a good sturdy piece of kit so you, i didn't mind just balancing it for a minute but you want to try and always keep them separate so if you're only needing one of the hinges which i'm going to just use for now take the other one out and you just click it out the same way you flick it up to its hor and until it's vertical and then you just clip it out clip it in clip it out and all you've got is it vertical okay so There'll be a reason to have that second one and I will show you that later in the week. We also then have this foam mat which was on at the beginning and this just is loose but goes in and out and it fits perfectly and I'll show you why that's there in a moment. And then, now I can close it now because I've not got the other hinge in the way. On the bottom there are two flat magnets. Now these magnets, I am going to warn you, I normally don't sort of um, give you lots of warnings and say terrible things, but I'm going to say terrible things now, so ah, have a panic. These, these magnets are really, really, really strong. They're very thin, which allows you to do the stamping, which you'll see in a minute. Um, and because they have to be very thin, they, and also strong enough to do the job, it means they are very, very brittle. Now, if the two magnets bump together, they don't just bump together, they go whack like that, and they snap together, and that can smash your magnet into lots of little pieces. So it's best to try and keep them separate. You don't have to be paranoid because if you do break your magnets, you can buy new ones. They're £11 for two. So it's not the end of the world, but it's quite an expensive um, thing to, to do if you just forget. 
So keep them separate. They're both, they've got these little grooves to st store them away in. And I suggest that you do what I do, but it's quite up to you. They come just as a bare magnet, just a piece of metal. I put a piece of washi tape across, back and stick it together. Okay, and then I put a piece of washi tape around in the opposite direction and leave it sort of dangling a little bit so that it makes a little handle. The reason being that if your if your magnets do break, a that it's all held together because they can be quite sharp shards. So first they're all held together. If you're lucky and it only cracks a little bit, it helps hold it together for quite a bit longer and you can still use it. Um, but also this piece here, which I've got going out at the side, becomes a good handle so that when they're down, it's quite hard to get your fingers underneath them because they are really strongly stuck down. Um, if you've got a little flap like this, you can it helps you pick them up. And I'll show you how strong these magnets are. I'm going to just hold the piece of washi tape and I can get the whole of my um, stamparatus up and off the table just by using that magnet. It's really strong. Okay, so I'm just going to take one out and use one. So let's just put this under here so you can see it. And I'm going to put it down slowly and carefully because it will again snap to this because this is, can you hear? It even snapped a little bit with me holding it. We don't need to get paranoid, but I just want to warn you, I would hate you to pick this up out of the box and smash it into little pieces from the, from the get-go. Okay, there is a booklet that also comes with this, which tells you all about it and gives you some examples of how to work it. But to be honest, if you've watched my course over the next 10 sessions, you'll know 20 million times more than is in that little booklet and you'll feel very confident to use this. Okay, so what does it do? I'm just going to give you the absolute minimum of what it can do today, just to show you. So I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm just going to put the magnet on it, which means it's nicely stuck down. Okay, I'm going to take a, no, I'm on the, I'll explain why I went no in a minute. I'm going to take a simple photopolymer stamp and I'm going to put it down with the side that's going to do the stamping downwards. Okay. And then I'm going to flick this across and I'm just going to press down and that will pick it up. So that's now nicely stuck down to this um, plate. Okay. And I'm going to bring in some ink and there's just a little thing here that I like to do you don't have to you can use your plate like that but it does again it puts a little bit of pressure on this hinge so I like to just pop underneath a box of stamp uh, a stamp box and it's usually the stamp box that I've got the ink the stamp out of because that way I can do it and it's nice and flat. It's not at a funny angle. It just brings everything up to the right height. So just stick your stamp box underneath. That's just a little tip. Give it the same little tip, 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 tips that you would gentle and often that you would if you were using a block. And then you just flick it over like a book, flip the page and then just give it a press. Okay. And there you have the most beautifully stamped, wonderfully inked, solid, perfect stamp. And this is where the cue for quality comes in. Now, let's take that one off and let's bring in a rubber stamp. Now, this is where the foam mat counts. Because the foam mat, if I put these two together... I'm going to do a strange thing here. I'm going to try and show you on the... <laughs> I don't know whether you can see this on the camera. Right. This foam mat is the same kind of foam and it's the same um, size measurement as the ones on the back of the rubber. The rubber comes with a foam backing. 
already as part of the stamp. The photopolymers don't. So you need that extra width of the foam mat to make up for the width. So when you're using a photopolymer, it doesn't have foam, so you need the foam mat. So think to yourself, it always needs foam. And then you'll not get confused as to whether you need the mat or not. It always needs foam somewhere when you're stamping on the stamparatus. So there's no foam here, so we need the foam mat. However, there is foam here on the stamp, so we don't need the mat. So I'm going to take the mat away. OK, so again, I'm going to bring my and, and feel it really does want to click down. So I'm just going to do this to hold the paper in place. I'm going to place my image down. Remember, it's always the stamping surface downwards. So I want them nicely centred in there. OK, then I flick this over the plate and I just a couple of presses which allows it to stick to the plate. Off I go, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, a few little sticky stamps, flick it over, give it a press. Okay, and there I have the most beautiful, wonderfully perfectly inked image. So, first and foremost, the Stamparatus is an easy way to get perfect, absolutely perfect, crisp, smart, inked images. But it is so much more, so, so much more. Um, and don't forget that I'm telling you this on the Monday, but on Wednesday we're going to look at special needs, then we're going to look at the quality for beginners, then we're going to look at multiple images, perfecting your designs, working with colour, doubling your stamps, perfect placement, being very arty, using your tools. So there's so much more, so, so much more that this machine can do. But to start with, it can create beautiful, beautiful quality images. So, I know that by the time we get to the end of this session, you're going to want to buy one of these if you haven't got one. And I'm going to give you a second reason why. OK, because if you buy the Stamparatus, which is £46, the Carry Case, which is £27, and either one of these two, you can't have both, I'm afraid. You just have one to start with. You can always buy the other one later. Either the grid paper or the deluxe foam mat. It comes to just under £99. Or just on the knob of £99. And that means you can become a team member. Now, if you buy your way into the team for £99... We give you 31 extra pounds to spend in the catalogue, free. So when you buy those things, you can then go in and look for 31 more pounds worth of items and stick them in your basket for nothing. No extra pennies, no extras, no, no catch, no twists, no nothing. By becoming a member of the team, you also then can get 20% discount off any for, for project, um, purchases for a minimum of four months. Now, it may be that depending on the timing of joining, you can make it more than those four months. So email me, hi, at jillyhunt.com and ask about joining my team because there's no catch, there's no twist, you don't have to do anything else other than make the most of this wonderful bargain sale. But once you're in the team, there's so many more benefits too. You can become part of my gang, you can join us stamping together and do all sorts of things. There are events and, and perks to being a member. So, come back, this was Monday. So come back on Wednesday and we're going to look at some of the special needs usage for the Stamparatus. Come back on Wednesday. Come back on Friday for quality for beginners. Come back the following every other day and make the most of your Stamparatus totally. Each time 
I'm going to show you something more spectacular and more spectacular and more spectacular until you just can't give in. You just have to go, I'm going to get one. I don't care. I'm going to buy one. OK, so there we go. Very excited. Over the top Jilly Hunt showing you probably her favourite ever tool. Thanks very much. Bye bye.